the steaming summer day of Greenwood Forest. The forest was bustling with the sounds and colours of the several animals that lived there. There was a snake who spent his time lazing on a rock above him. With my powerful venom, nothing can harm me. Beside him, Gorilla gazed proudly at his reflection in the lake, smiling. I am so strong with all my big muscles. Zebra sat glancing at her fur and nodded with delight. My stripes are so neat, I look fantastic. Meanwhile, Cheetah paid Zebra no attention, but spent all his time licking his coat. When any of the animals passed him by, he bragged. My coat is the smoothest, shiniest, softest coat in the entire forest. Wirebird was spending another day admiring her gorgeous and colourful wings and painting her nails with berry juice. Little Ant, who also lived in the forest, needed help lifting a honeydew to take to his family. He started by asking Snake, who snapped. Since I'm so powerful, I only help with powerful things. So Ant tried Gorilla, who was still smiling as he stared at his reflection in the lake. Gorilla roared. I am strong and could easily help you, but right now I'm too busy. Zebra didn't want to help Ant, explaining. I only help animals that can help me back. And what can you help me with, Ant? Ant looked to the ground and trudged over to Cheetah. When Ant asked Cheetah, he stated, I can't help you. It could make my coat dirty. So he tried Lyrebird. When Ant asked to Lyrebird for help, she looked at him in the eye and yelled loudly, Can't you see I'm in the middle of painting my perfect nails? Since nobody would help Ant, he walked away feeling dejected and unimportant. Ant grumbled to himself. All these animals don't pay any attention to me. As he snorted away in anger, the ant suddenly froze, shivering in fright and shock. Ant noticed his tough and ferocious hunter at the edge of the forest, spying from them behind a big tree. The hunter carefully aimed his shimmering black gun at the crowd of animals who were still preening themselves. The ant watched the hunter leaning forward with his eyes lit up. Like a bright fire, like bright fireworks. Ant realized he needed to try and help the animals. Feeling anxious, Ant slowly crawled up the hunter's hairy leg. He viciously opened his mouth and sunk his razor sharp teeth into the hunter's juicy leg. The hunter screamed in pain as Ant carefully jumped from the hunter's leg and bolted to hide under a leaf. The hunter's screams echoed around the forest, and zebra, snake. Cheetah, Lyrebird and Gorilla spotted the hunter and fled to safety. After the hunter left and the animals returned from hiding, they all crowded around Ant. Snake started. Thank you for helping us, Ant. Gorilla added. I'm sorry for not thinking you were important. Zebra confessed. Sorry, Ant. I realised you can help me. You showed me that small animals can help big animals. Cheetah offered. Come and sit on my coat and relax. Lyrebird cried. Let me polish your blade and body with my special feathers. Ant looked up to all the animals. He felt special and happy. Ant smiled with delight and announced, Thank you for all these offers, but what I want the most is your company, time and friendship. Directed by Jai Chin. Written by Andrew Johnson. Illustrated by Tong Tong. Narrated by Xavier Quinton. Ant by Anastasia Tafidis. Cheetah by Jackson Maker. Gorilla by Arid Nasizada. Lyabed by Pyoja Basak. Snake by Lachlan Wellsman. Zebra by Adriana Sidera.